New York. In 1898, the modern city of New York was formed with the consolidation of Brooklyn, the County of New York, the County of Richmond, and the western portion of the County of Queens. The opening of the subway in 1904, first built as separate private systems, helped bind the new city together. Throughout the first half of the 20th century, the city became a world center for industry, commerce, and communication. New York increasingly became the national capital for tourism and entertainment. Grand hotels were built for the upscale visitors. New York's theater district gradually moved northward during this half century from the Bowery up Broadway through Union Square and Madison Square, settling around Times Square at the end of the 19th century. The first nightclubs appeared in New York City in the 1840s and 1850s, including McGlory's and the Haymarket. They enjoyed a national reputation for live music, dance and vaudeville acts. The photochrome process was invented by Hans Jacob Schmid in the 1880s and involved taking lithograph tablets and coating them with a chemical mixture that would allow them to retouch the images with color tints. In America, the Detroit Publish Company licensed the technology to use for its own series of American places. The prints often have a distinctive gold border and a one-line description of the location and were mostly made from 1890 to 1910. The photochromes were popular as souvenirs, especially for travelers. People often saved them for photo albums or had them framed. During the height of its success, the Detroit Publishing Company maintained markets in Detroit, New York, Los Angeles, London, and Zurich. They continued to expand their lines by selling images in popular boutiques, tourist spots, and also through mail order. During World War I, sales of photographs and postcards began to decline. With the advent of newer, inexpensive methods of printing that were being used by competing firms, it eventually took its toll on the DPC and it forced the company into receivership by 1924. After struggling for the next eight years, the DPC finally liquidated all of its assets in 1932. Japan in 1868, the Tokugawa Shogun, who ruled Japan in the feudal period, lost his power and the emperor was restored to the supreme position. The emperor took the name Meiji, enlightened rule, as his reign name. This event was known as the Meiji Restoration. The abolition of feudalism made possible tremendous social and political changes. Millions of people were suddenly free to choose their occupation and move about without restrictions. By providing a new environment of political and financial security, the government made possible investment in new industries and technologies. The government also introduced a national educational system and a constitution, creating an elected parliament called the Diet. They did this to provide a good environment for national growth, win the respect of the Westerners, and build support for the modern state. In the Tokugawa period, education had spread rapidly, and in 1872 the government established a national system to educate the entire population. By the end of the Meiji period, almost everyone attended the free public schools for at least six years. The government closely controlled the schools, making sure that in addition to skills like mathematics and reading, all students studied moral training, which stressed the importance of their duty to the emperor, the country, and their families. To win the recognition of the Western powers and convince them to change the unequal treaties the Japanese had been forced to sign in the 1850s, Japan changed its entire legal system, adopting a new criminal and civil code modeled after those of France and Germany. Tyrol Tyrol is a historical region in the Alps in northern Italy and western Austria. The area was historically the core of the county of Tyrol, part of the Holy Roman Empire from its formation in the 12th century until 1919. 
Following World War I and dissolution of Austria-Hungary, it was divided into two modern administrative parts through the Treaty of Saint-Germain. The state of Tyrol formed through the merger of North and East Tyrol as part of Austria was seized in 1918 by the Kingdom of Italy and thus, since 1946, became a part of the Italian Republic. The whole region of Tyrol is located in the Alps. The region is characterized by many valleys. Some of these valleys are difficult to reach even today. Some of the most important valleys are the Inn Valley and the Adige Valley. A large part of the population and five of the largest cities of Tyrol lie in these valleys. For centuries, the region has been known for transit trade. The most important trade route across the Alps, namely the Brenner route, traverses the whole of Tyrol and is regarded as a connecting link between the Italian and German-speaking areas. Venice. Venice is a city in northeastern Italy and the capital of the Veneto region. It is on a group of 118 small islands that are separated by canals and linked by over 400 bridges. The construction of Venice started in the 5th century AD after the fall of the Roman Empire when refugees from the mainland fled to the islands in the lagoon. Soon, there were so many of them that they needed more space, so they drove wooden poles deep into the clay beneath the ground. On top of the wooden poles, they built wooden platforms, and then on top of that, they constructed their buildings, all of which means that Venice is basically built on wood and water. The wood has miraculously avoided decay over the centuries since it is underwater and not exposed to oxygen, and the salt water has hardened the wood into a more durable, stone-like consistency. The lagoon and a part of the city are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Parts of Venice are renowned for the beauty of their settings, their architecture, and artwork. Venice is known for several important artistic movements, especially during the Renaissance period, and has played an important role in the history of symphonic and operatic music, and is the birthplace of Antonio Vivaldi. Constantinople in 324, the ancient city of Byzantium was made the new capital of the Roman Empire by Emperor Constantine the Great, after whom it was renamed and dedicated on the 11th of May, 330. From the mid-5th century to the early 13th century, Constantinople was the largest and wealthiest city in Europe. The city became famous for its architectural masterpieces. The University of Constantinople was founded in the 5th century and contained artistic and literary treasures before it was sacked in 1204 and 1453, including its vast imperial library which contained the remnants of the Library of Alexandria. Constantinople was famed for its massive and complex defenses. The Theodosian walls consisted of a double wall lying about two kilometers to the west of the first wall and a moat with palisades in front. This formidable complex of defenses was one of the most sophisticated of antiquity. The city was built intentionally to rival Rome and it was claimed that several elevations within its walls matched the seven hills of Rome. These rare color views of the capital of the Ottoman Empire at the close of the 19th century were produced using the photochrome process. In a way, these are the waning days of the Ottoman Empire in color. The views feature the Bayezid Mosque, Yeni Kami, the Fountain of Sultan Ahmed III, the Galata Bridge, Eyup Cemetery, and the Gate to the Ministry of War, the Golden Horn, and the people who lived in the city. 
Constantinople would be officially renamed Istanbul 40 years later in 1930. France. The century after the fall of Napoleon I, France was politically unstable. Every head of state from 1814 to 1873 spent part of his life in exile. Every regime was the target of assassination attempts of a frequency that put Spanish and Russian politics in the shade. Even in peaceful times, governments changed every few months. In less peaceful times, political deaths, imprisonments, and deportations are literally incalculable. France was no longer the dominant power it had been before 1814, but it played a major role in European economics, culture, diplomacy, and military affairs. The Bourbons were restored, but left a weak record and one branch was overthrown in 1830 and the other branch in 1848 as Napoleon's nephew was elected president. He made himself emperor as Napoleon III, but was overthrown when he was defeated and captured by Prussians in an 1870 war that humiliated France and made the new nation of Germany dominant in the continent. The Third Republic was established, but the possibility of a return to monarchy remained into the 1880s. The French built up an empire, especially in Africa and Indochina. The economy was strong with a good railway system. The arrival of the Rothschild banking family of France in 1812 guaranteed the role of Paris alongside London as a major center of international finance.